The right visual can make your report shine while the wrong one could leave your audience confused and disengaged. Here's a question for you. Do you truly know how to choose the perfect visual to deliver your message with clarity and impact? Storytelling in business intelligence is more than a buzzword. It's a critical skill that most developers ignore or treat as an afterthought. Neglecting storytelling can lead to two big problems. Sending the wrong message and creating reports that no one uses. Both of them lead to poor decision making. So let's fix that. Today I'll show you the basics of using Power BI visuals. We'll break everything into seven categories and we will be reviewing the OK options, the better options and my preferred way of presenting information. And to make things even easier, I will add in the description box below links to most of my favorite visuals. Let's start with the first thing your audience sees. KPI visuals. The standard card. Simple and powerful. But it's best suited for secondary pages where simplicity is key. Want more detail? Upgrade to the new card. With reference labels, you can pack more information into a single visual. This is ideal for dashboard-like pages. My favorite approach? Add a sparkline to the card to showcase trends alongside the key metric. Use this sparingly, ideally as the main KPI visual, to keep other trends visuals distinct and clear. And this leads us to the next category. Trend visuals. Understanding trends is essential, but some visuals work better than others. OK options? Bar charts, scatter charts, ribbon charts. But they're not always the clearest way to show trends. They can get cluttered or make trends harder to interpret. For a better visual experience, use the line charts or the area charts. These are the best two options as they are much clearer and easier to understand. Want to take it a step further? My favorite is a line chart that not only shows the trend but also highlights when targets were met, for example. Adding this context elevates the story your data tells. Every report needs comparison visuals whether it is between time periods or dimensions. The OK visuals for comparisons include sparklines, scatter charts, ribbon charts, tree maps, and yes, even donut and pie charts, though they're not my favorite, or 100% stacked columns. Whilst you could use these visuals, they often lack clarity or become cluttered. For better clarity, stick to bar charts or column charts. They're clean, easy to read, and focus the viewer's attention. Personally, I like to enhance the story by adding layers of context to these visuals, like adding the year-over-year -year growth percentage. So far, we have covered the KPI visuals, the trend visuals, and the comparison visuals. But there is a lot more to come. When you need to explain relationships between metrics, correlation visuals shine. A good choice is the line and stacked column chart, which is great for showing relationships, for example, sales versus orders by industry sector. An even better option? The scatter chart. Clearer for pinpointing relationships between metrics. Both of these are perfectly fine, and depending on how your design looks, both of them can be used effectively. How I enhance the correlation visuals? I use the bubble size to highlight the major categories and add average lines for better context. It's simple, clean and tells a compelling story. Next, ranking visuals help you prioritize and compare categories effectively. OK options? Ribbon charts, decomposition trees and waterfall charts. While useful in specific cases, they often take up too much space, like the decomposition tree, or appear cluttered like the ribbon chart. Better options? Bar charts and column charts. They're versatile, clean, and effective. My personal favorite? Funnel charts. Ideal for ranking data, offering visual clarity and a distinct design. How do you bring targets into your report, you might ask? An OK option is using the new card with reference labels. This is best used when space is limited and you don't need a dedicated visual. 
A better choice is the gauge visual. This is designed specifically for displaying target metrics. My preference, 100% stacked column charts or donut charts for this context only. I find them to be a better option because not only they present the information in the most effective way, but they also look better from a design point of view. Now let's talk about granular data. OK option, the multi-row card. Useful, but often space-consuming and less flexible for formatting. Better options? Tables and matrices, especially for drill-through pages or Excel-style reports. And we all know that users love Excel reports. Pro tip. Make tables more readable by adding white space and using subtle formatting to enhance clarity. Choosing the right visual is not just about aesthetics. It's about telling a clear, compelling story. Still curious about how much difference choosing the right visual can make? Check out my other video where I transform a random report that I found on GitHub. You'll see firsthand how small tweaks can lead to big improvements. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe or share this with someone else who needs to see it. Until next time, this is Talian signing off. Cheerio!